it's me, Julie, up in the beautiful Northwoods. Just wanted to give you a quick market report. And I've also been trying to keep an eye on what seems to be the most aggressive market so I can let you buyers know exactly where we're seeing the most amount of co competitiveness in the marketplace. Um, so first, let's touch a little bit on inventory since we just ended the month of March. Um, as of March in 2022, we were... 26% down on inventory this year compared to new listings last year. 353 new listings in the Greater Northwoods MLS compared to 416 or 416 last year. So our inventory was down for new listings. Um, in a one year, that's about a 26 average, but in a two year, it's only down about 8% compared to what we saw in 2020. Um, if we look at inventory overall year to date, we are down about 23%, caught up a little bit in March compared to how much we were down at the end of February. Um, and again, where are we seeing the most inventory? Probably the biggest shortage is in that lower market, that first time home buyer market. Seems like every price point has moved up about $50,000, which has really hurt a lot of our first time home buyers because it's leaving them very little inventory or if they are using government financing, FHA loans, VA loans, difficult time finding the right property because when they find one in their price point, it needs repairs and the repairs are something that they cannot finance with the type of loan that they're looking at. So a whole new set of problems for those buyers. Um, I also wanted to take a quick peek and tell you a little bit of a glimmer of hope. Pending sales is up this year over 11% um, year to date over this year. Now, yes, we are down in total closed sales, about 38% last year. We had closed 373 properties by the end of March. This year, we have only closed 228. Good news is we are up 11% on pending sales. So we're anticipating that hopefully we'll see a little bit of improvement on the inventory sold in April over March of last year. Um, 395 properties sold last year or were pending last year to date at the end of March. And this year we are at 442. Um, we already talked a little bit about new listings. Um, so we've got that covered a little bit. Sales price continues to be remaining strong. That is up 22% year to date over the average selling price last year, which was also up on a high. So um, I'm going to post some of these in my next market report that we'll put on my blog at Buy, Sell, Love, Up North WI. But again, um, just some good information to have if you're a buyer or a seller in the Northwoods. Also want to touch a little bit today on what we're seeing the most aggression on. So I pulled a couple of listings that have been you know that I know that my buyer's agents have been out showing where they know they were told there were between five and 15 offers on them and that they were incredibly strong over asking. The average price that we're seeing that aggression is between about 399,000. So basically the $400,000 market and the $600,000 market. That seems to be where there is a, um, if it's a nice property, in a good position, ready to go, the buyers are coming in really heavy and really strong. So as these properties close, it's going to probably change what we're seeing as a list to sell ratio in April, um, potentially out into May, depending on how those deals were negotiated. So again, between 400 and 600,000, if it's a nice listing, if it's a move in ready, on a decent body of water, that is where we are seeing a lot of heavy aggression and um, buyers are being incredibly incredibly competitive. So what does that mean to you? If you are a seller, um, it needs to mean that you know that you work with somebody who understands the market and knows how to price you to make sure that you are positively affected by that. You know, I tell my sellers, we only need one buyer. We don't need 10. We just need one who's willing to give you highest and best. So potential some thoughts about pricing in that respect. Um, and if you're a buyer, if you are between the 400 and the 600 price point, you need to you be using a checklist or something to make sure that your offers get accepted. You know, here at the JWP Group, we have a 10 point checklist of the things that you can do to make your offer attractive to a seller. And those are the things that you should be thinking about um, when you are getting prepared to draft an offer. So hopefully this helps. I can't believe we're already into April fools, April showers bring flowers, but right up here in the Northwoods right now, it's still April snow. Makes me want to go south. <laughs> anyway, if you need any help moving in or out of the Northwoods, give me a call. I would love to be a resource for you. Um, and as always, um, have a great day and hopefully we'll see you soon. Thanks.